Hello there everybody. As you see I'm saving you the trauma of seeing my pretty face again. Uh, in this tutorial uh, Jeevan Moore is asking how I can put some bend lines on uh, a piece of metal showing where it should be bent in the manufacture of, this, of the piece. So the first thing we'll do, we'll draw something that uh, should be bent. We'll just a little like tin plate box or something. Oh dear. Start again. Coming very simple. Uh, 20 millimeters. Pull tool, P for pull, select type 1 for 1 millimeter, and there we've got a little 1 millimeter thick plate. And if we were to bend these up, we'd have a little tray or box for whatever. So, how do we put bend lines? I suppose you want to bend it along a line from this corner to this corner, etc. Well, not too difficult. So suppose, well, if it were me, I'd be wanting to put dotted line, dotted, show dotted lines for where the bends are. So we could choose the construction line here, which appears to be dotted. Now the cursor is showing a hatch in it, which means we've got it supposed to be cho choosing a face to draw on. Well, just for the purposes of this demo, uh, we'll show how to draw in 3D. So, to get rid of that hash in there, press the escape key, move the cursor and it goes away. So now we've got the construction line and now we can draw in 3D. Now we can only start drawing in certain places that uh, we can latch on to that the program knows where it is in th a 3D space. So this corner it knows that that corner where that corner is. So click and we can draw to the next corner and we get the dotted line. Now unlike the other line tool it doesn't want to continue to draw the next line. You've got to start it again and do that again. Whoops. And again. So there we have our bend lines. We can escape to get rid of that dimension. Now, suppose we wanted to print this out in an orthogonal view. We want to line it up facing us exactly. So click down here on this little tool here, the one that's nearest to us. Click on that and it will face us exactly. And we can print it out as an orthogonal picture simply by File, Print. <coughs> And here we can specify some properties. We can even preview it. Stretch it out a bit. And there we show our piece with our dotted bend lines. Certain things we can do here. Uh, it's showing it the extents, which is the maximum size it can be shown on the printout or in this as it appears in the scene I suppose that's within the picture on the screen but we'll print it out in extents so I've already printed one out so I'm going to go back to camera view 
and show you how it's printed out. Well there's the printout and here's what it looks like. As you will see it hasn't actually printed the lines out in dotted but they're quite faint. But no doubt they can be used as bend lines. In the next video I'm going to show an easy way, well I think it's easy, easy way of putting text on here to show that it's got to be bent up or bent down or bent at a certain degree, which is not so terribly easy within Design Spark Mechanical, I've found. Yeah, I'm going to do another video on the uh, difficulties of uh, putting text onto um, drawings in Design Spark Mechanical, so watch this space. Anyway, there's how to put uh, bend lines on a part in Design Spark Mechanical. Hope you enjoyed that and you hope you find it interesting. See you next time. Bye.